everybody thanks for um tuning in so it's been a little while um as some of you may know some of you've been kind enough to ask questions what on earth have i been doing where have i gone um i think i put it on the website or some social media posts when i was a bit more active but i had a kitchen renovation job to do so i've been doing that and as any of you know who do kind of kitchen diy or any kind of home improvements if you're doing that around family life that's quite tricky. Um, it's not like you get to turn up and just do a shift. You've just got to work it into your own job. And especially with a kitchen where you, you know, you're doing all your food prep, you're having to think, right, how do I do that to allow that to happen? Um, it'd be great if you could maybe pop everybody into a hotel. But anyway, I digress. I didn't want to do too much of that for this because it's, again, just time. You know, by the time you record what you're doing and then you upload it, blah, blah, blah. I just focused on getting it done. And it's just about there. So I've, I've kind of got my space back. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to be doing is I found that the garage was a fantastic space when I was doing the kitchen. I had kind of everything loaded up in here, all the base units in such a way that I had base units first and then the wall units. So I could draw everything out and kind of assemble it as a kit apart as I needed it. And I couldn't get to anything in here really while that was going on. Um, but now the space is freed up. And when I was working and I could get to use a bit of space, I did use some of the tools here just to do odds and sods, the bandsaw, etc. And I kind of came to the conclusion that um, I've got a lot of the tools that I did have that interest me, that kind of maybe piqued my interest. I wanted to maybe learn a bit about, um, see what the fuss was about in some cases. And I decided that a lot of it just needs to be probably moved on because I certainly found with the kitchen problem, uh, kitchen project problem, <laughs> probably a Freudian slip. Um, I just don't have the time to sink into endlessly faffing around with tools. Um, they are fascinating objects and collecting them, restoring them and using them. That's wonderful. I'm not saying that that shouldn't be something that people shouldn't do. It's just at this stage, I don't have time. And I think if I do have more time, I've got other things that I'd want to direct to, which would be probably making things, time with family, home improvements, other things that I do away from woodwork. So rationalizing the tool collection a bit. So what I was going to do is with the bits I'm selling, I was going to use an opportunity to do a video on them so you can learn a bit about the tools that I'm selling for yourself. One thing that I notice you might find the same is that the way a lot of content goes these days, if I want to read an article on the subject or watch a video, certainly reading an article these days has become for me almost impossible. There's either um, a paywall, um, which in some cases can be okay. You know, I'm not expecting that everything should be delivered for free, but what is for free is so bombarded by adverts that, um, there's adverts that scroll up and down a screen that you can't even read the content to the point where it's just, you have to look away. And I think it's important there is some information out there which is not bombarded with too many ads. I know that probably if you're watching this, you will see an ad across on YouTube, but they're not too bad. You can delete them after a few seconds or whatever, and you can just get back to the content. And you'll see in my description, there are no affiliate links for stuff um, because, I don't know, it, that kind of stuff just doesn't float in my boat. Whatever anybody else wants to do is just fine. I'm not criticizing anybody, but just for me, I think it's nice to be able to give my impartial, impartial feedback on the stuff that I've got here. So first of all will be a Clifton five and a half plane that I'll be uh, moving on. It's actually already sold on eBay and I should have actually already sent it, but time has conspired and I just need to get this video done. Um, and in terms of actual terms of projects, um, made a kitchen table or we did at work a kitchen table and I've got these got a kind of mix and match of chairs which I need to finish off and my son and I are kind of restoring them um this one in particular here is an Urkel chair and probably when some of you think of Urkel chairs you would maybe think of it almost looks like a mid-century stick chair if there is such a phrase for that um, or vernacular chair um, done in a mid-century style, but this one is a different kind of uh, cold chair. This was made during a time in Britain where we had something called utility furniture, which was made after or probably during the Second World War, but maybe after until the kind of mid-50s. 
until kind of rationing stopped because rationing here still went on. It's something that happened during the war because we had such limited resources. But what's great about this chair is even though it's simple, um, you get a solid elm seat, um, the rest of it's beach, um, but the elm is lovely. That's going to come up a lovely color. It had just got a bit grim and grimy. And I know there's, it's obviously a subjective thing about stripping finishes back, but the joints had all got a little bit rickety. I thought it was a good opportunity just to revive it, make it suit the situation I want to use it in, because ultimately it's not a particularly expensive chair. And yeah, I've been doing that with my son on and off. Um, probably do a bit to that one tomorrow so I can showcase that for you. But yeah, there'll be some stuff coming your way. And hopefully they've got my little unit down that I was making with those little little drawers. I will be working on that one, but that has slipped well back the priority list. That one might almost be a kit apart that gets archived um, just because I've got these chairs to do, but I have got a load of other home improvement stuff to be doing. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how things go. So channel's not going anywhere, but I don't earn, my, my life isn't, I don't pay for my life with doing this. It's just a bit of fun that I like to do because I've got to be honest, I don't know many people who are interested in this stuff that I can meet up and chat about with. So for those that tune in, leave a comment. It's kind of nice because you get that bit of conversation going, so that's good. So yeah, hopefully video come your way pretty soon with that plane. I'm going to shoot it just after this, do some editing, and hopefully get it up for you tomorrow. All right, see you soon.